This is my 2014 Fig Tree Cross Country Tour. What I want to do is uh, make a wall mount to hang my trunk on. Uh, in this particular video, I think I'm going to make it out of wood. So, um, some 2x4s, I think. So, uh, let's get started on that. So, I took my trunk off and uh, put it in the uh, basement on these tables. And uh, what I need to do now is make a template, a pattern for the uh, the mounting brackets. I also want this to be, when it's hung on the wall, I want it to be level. I'm going to put things like uh, my rider's backrest in it, a uh, spare helmet, whatever. Uh, this way I can use it as a compartment. So, um, so I'm going to level this off and I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm going to put the cardboard behind and I'm going to trace where the circles have to go with a pencil. I put a level on the trunk and I tie the string to the ceiling and looped it through the locking mechanism using a slip knot. So now what I'm going to do is adjust the slip knot until the trunk is level. And now I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, I'm going to put it flat on the table, hold it up against the mount, and I'm going to just draw some circles. It doesn't have to be the whole circle, just at least get to where the round is. The trunk is going to sit on three-quarter inch round stock. I just happen to have a uh, lithium battery here that just happens to be three quarters of an inch. So the parts that I drew in the circle, I'm going to line that up with this battery and that will be able to make it a full circle. I darkened it up a bit so you can see. Ten and a half, uh, ten inches uh, this way and three and a half inches down. Um, also, if I want that trunk to open up all the way without hitting the wall, I measured from a flat surface to the um, to the first part of the mount and from this edge right here to the wall has to be five inches. Now I'm going to give it a little more. I'm going to give it about five and a half inches. So that way I'll have an inch or so uh, to the edge of the wall when I open it up. And I, I might even make it six inches. So just to be on the safe side, maybe even six inches from the back here, not the center. From the back to the wall, let's make it six inches. Um, that way I have lots of clearance uh, for, my, uh, for my lid to open up without hitting the wall. You can see that if I was to drill a hole here and here, and if I had about an inch on either side of these holes, um, this would be a huge chunk of wood, about s at least six inches wide. Um, I'm going to use a 2 by 4 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply angle it about 20 degrees in order for my holes to be in the center of these pieces of wood. And I'm going to use a half flap joint in order to join the two pieces together. I'm going to glue and clamp these together overnight. Even though these have been glued and clamped for 24 hours, for added security, I'm going to drill a hole right through the middle of the joint and I'm going to put in a dowel. I chipped away at the, a little bit on the inside of the dowel around the edge just for the glue has somewhere to go. I marked a line right in the center of my 2x4 and I put my template on top of it and if you remember we wanted to make the back of the hole 6 inches away from the wall which will be right here. So now I'm going to punch my holes in here and in here. 
these 2x4s are actually three and a half inches wide. The wall is going to be here. I think actually this is going to be too wide for me. There's no reason to have it this wide. I'm going to need some massive bolts to go through here and into the wall. So what I'm thinking of doing is just taking an inch off. I'm going to cut this down to two and a half inches. I'm going to come up around here and come up the edge and but I don't want to touch the strength of the joint so I'm going to go up and I'm going to curve right here where the where the intersection is and I'm going to go down this way. Since my holes are already marked in the middle of this I'm going to take a half inch off this side and a half inch off this side again curving and going up. So that's what I'm going to do. So here it is so far, trimmed down to shape, sanded, edges rounded over so there's no sharp corners. We've still maintained our um, joint with the dowel in the middle, maximum strength. Um, I'm going to uh, take some of this aluminum uh, pole and I'm going to countersink some three quarter inch holes, maybe half an inch deep uh, for the, the pipe to go into and I think also I'm going to make a hardwood uh, half inch uh, round dowel and I'm going to continue my hole through for half an inch and um, put my my dowel all the way through with pins at the end just to hold everything together. I picked up some six inch lag bolts with some washers I'm going to bore my mounting holes, one at the top, one at the bottom. Uh, it will go through. It will have uh, two and a half inches of wood here, a half inch of drywall, and there will be three inches that will go into the stud in the garage. I want to mount this in such a way that it's not too high for me to put the trunk on but yet high enough that I don't actually bump my head on the actual trunk itself. So that's what I'm attempting to do. The trunk weighs approximately 35 pounds. I weigh 250 pounds, I think. Let's show you what it can do. Planning strong, no screws holding the whole thing together, just bolted to the wall. I think it's going to be fine for the trunk. I took a piece of dowel and I drilled a couple of holes right at the, uh, at the far end. And I took a, uh, a wire coat hanger and I cut it and bent it into almost like a little staple of some sort. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the staple in the hole and it just acts as a stop. And I'm going to insert the dowel through and out the other end. It doesn't really add anything to the security of it uh, other than um, keep, the, uh, keep the arms from coming spreading apart. Uh, but I really doubt it's going to do that with the big bolts in the wall. I made a longer clip and all that's going to do is go at this end and maybe I could hang my helmet on it or something. So that's it. Let's try her out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.